Uh, going good. Dude, you've had an epic few months as a producer repping Sri Lanka in the drum and bass arena worldwide. What's that been like? It's been good. Uh, been a b- b- bit busy, but been managing so far uh, in terms of what I've been doing. Was busy making music and obviously getting the releases together and uh, started playing as well quite a few gigs down south. for quite some time and uh, slowly been building up and later we managed to uh, uh, make a tour out of UK so in good good spirits uh, but, but looking forward to the festival leg as well so just getting myself prepared i guess so 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 you finally went to the UK yes so that of course presented itself i mean i've given myself at least a couple of years before i went to uk but then again we got the chance to make it happen i think we went to the uk on february 25th and we spent about two and a half weeks there managed to meet everybody managed to meet with the labels that i've been working with uh managed to meet my friends and i also got the opportunity to make my uk debut uh, in brighton got to play a gig with uh, cameron crooked winey um junglees and M- mc daxra Uh, so it was a very um, fruitful tour i would say and at the same time uh, managed to uh, make a new few new connections as well uh, and actually get into experience the culture in the uk was was pretty massive got to see the infrastructure to sounds to every, everything else which which goes behind a production it was a very very uh, intense experience so so I, i'm i'm really happy with what we could uh, have a look at Your top three highlights of uh, your UK tour. Number one would possibly be meeting everyone, like my friends who I've been working with for almost three years, and uh, we've been most of the communication happens on email and on Messenger and Instagram. So getting to meet them in real life was the highlight of the trip. I would say got to meet. Grant and Johnny and 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 the guys of Goldfarb Records and Hospital Records and we managed to get some studio time at the studio as well got to work with a few artists and collab with them and then of course uh, the UK guys Sampo and everyone else the look managed to meet everybody and managing to uh, create a connection on on the flesh was something something very humbling and and inspiring and uh, to meet everyone behind these labels was was pretty pretty intense and the second i would say would be to experience the culture the uk music culture is something different and something dra- drastically different to what we have in sri lanka so get into experience that culture and understanding the sonics and and looking at the way they they utilize sounds to how the infrastructure is laid and how the events are run how the people are receptive of music was something very different and uh, definitely one of the key highlights that we managed to observe in the tour and hopefully um, another would be possibly places that we went to see would be another highlight of course we managed to go to a few places with Vimanthi my wife so managed to go to like the tower bridge and the castle and a few other places just a nice tourist experience we got to go to brighton as well uh which is kind of like the southern side of the the island uh, so we managed to go there and after the gig we managed to go to the beach and uh, another experience would be meeting pendulum like like getting to see pendulum which is one of the reasons that I make drum and bass so uh, they are they are the, basically the reason that I make drum and bass so getting to see them while I was in London was was pretty monumental and managed to like get a shout out from Perry who's like the guitarist of pendulum and uh, he's I've been like talking to him quite often ever since and yeah meeting getting to meet like a few artists so it was pretty intense and and I met BC outside hospital records who's who's another artist that I'm looking up to so it was, it was very intense and amazing i would say you finally got to play your first international drum and bass gig in literally the country for yeah what was that experience like i didn't know what to expect honestly because that was probably the first time that i was playing in front of like a like a uk audience uh, so <clears throat> it was i mean i just played a bunch of tunes that i like and and people seemed to be liking it and they 
Uh, and had a really good reception and and got few, few good comments about the set and um got a few flip offs for the music as well i can't use the word but that's basically how they appreciate your music so i was very happy to be on the re- receptive end so yeah it was it was an amazing experience and i'm looking forward to playing in the uk again um and uh, possibly one of the best experiences i've ever had like to have people going ape shit in front of you like it's it's mad <laughs> The rest of the year sees you play a few more cities. You want to talk about that? The festival season is looking in great shape. There's one gig that I've turned out which is to be on 30th of April. So I'll be playing at uh, the closing weekend of Printworks which is is one of the top 4 clubs in the world and they're shutting down and they're making a move to a different location. So for that I think they they're doing this a uh, closing weekend kind of a scenario and I'm getting to play on 30th again in London and then hopefully towards July the first week uh, I'll be playing at Croatia for hospitality hospitality on the beach and then I'm um, liquidity again in Netherlands and then stand and calling which is another festival in the UK so I'll be performing in that as well again in Czech Republic uh, let it roll which is the biggest festival for drum and bass as of now so that's in august first week so so till july to end of august and then of course i need to go to portugal as well for uh, for a workshop that's kind of like the plan for us towards the festival leg so i have a team behind me who are traveling with me as well vimanthi and hopefully lia would be there as well for a few occasions so yeah it's going to be fun towards uh, the festival season hopefully hopefully it'll go smoother yes And how instrumental has Boom Live been in your success? Yeah, so most of the time the negotiations are handled by them, which is which is a huge load off my back. So specifically Lia has been like very instrumental in terms of like getting us uh, the visas to UK and both of us actually are really very grateful like Vimanthi she's here like, my wife is here so <coughs> so So, yeah, so she she's been really supportive and we've been playing like quite a few uh, gigs in uh, Sri Lanka as well thanks to Boom and I'm actually playing on 8th at uh, Nirbana uh, so which is which is kind of like an area which is kind of like a yoga retreat in in the Ahangam area so we're playing there uh, this weekend uh, the upcoming weekend um, so I've been playing at Smoke Ambitors for almost 4 months as a as a part of like a residency hopefully to play at Dots play at Ahangam so all these were handled by Boom so I'm really grateful for the support that I've been getting to like it's it's basically a team effort now like my wife is there uh, Lia is there and our parents are there they help us as well so it's like a team effort now I'm I'm really happy because back in the day like five to six years back i didn't have that support i was pretty much doing it by myself but but now to have like that infrastructure and a team behind you is is something that that i value so much and so that big <coughs> uh go fat release on vinyl uh, not the go it's Sorry, not go it's hospital records. yeah uh, so the hospital release was uh yesterday actually we got the release and it's it's a monumental release as well because hospital is probably the biggest drum and bass label on planet earth right now or one of the biggest so get into release music with them and on the 500 release which is monumental too uh, to think of and to have my name mentioned uh, alongside like some of the biggest artists in the scene right now like people like Dex, London Electricity, Spy, Winslow yeah i mean so many artists i keep forgetting them as well like the names but i have the I have the vinyl if you want to have a look at. Yes, yeah, it's please. there as well. I can show it to you. Uh we got it uh, when we went to went to the UK and then Chris Gosswood's like the MD uh actually handed it over to me and yeah, it was it was amazing. Uh, so this is how the vinyl looks like. So, I've still not taken it out either. I need to get it uh, like framed. So we're waiting till we get get hold of someone who can do it. And this is how how the vinyl looks like. It's pretty sleek. Yeah I mean artists like Logistics is there and it's Sky Hybrid Minds who are like insanely big in the in the UK right now and like guys like Unglued Lens Whiny the biggest superstars are in this album so I'm really happy to have a tune by a little guy like me on included in this album as well so yeah it's insane <laughs> Yeah Yeah definitely <laughs> Uh just a few people that I want to be thankful of of course obviously to Yasmin who's been like supporting for quite some time almost a decade 
was seen to her to it's 11 years now so i be I've, i've known her for yeah almost a decade now which is a which is quite a long time so so i'm really thankful for you and and then of course vimanthi who's been in the forefront experiencing is and everything uh, i've been getting to experience and she's she was there at the hospital and when they handed it over she was the one who like took the photos so she got like the front view to everything uh, and i'm really thankful to have her like to have her in each you know, and every place that we visit uh, together so and yeah, she's like the like the like the, like my official content creator now so so it's it's very i mean i was very happy to have her uh, in london lia of course most definitely like our beloved manager who's been busting her ass off to get us to uk and then hopefully to uh, to the festival like as well and all the labels that i work with specifically like hospital guys our hospital have been really kind uh, to us ever since we went there like chris uh, tilo james george ali maya i think i managed to <laughs> make the most names out of it but they yeah, are castro our beloved merch guy who got got us like a few really nice things joe from solvent uh, our really good friend and and i'm looking forward to uh, playing a few tunes with him in 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 tisno so i'm playing uh, on the solvent stage at tisno so so i'm looking forward to having a really good time with him and the crew so the uk guys luke sampo Dilukaya I think we should probably speak about him later because he'll be here in Sri Lanka towards August so I'll, I'll try to get him somehow so uh, and the gold fat guys obviously like I I told even before it's 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 because of them that I have all these opportunities presenting itself because they were the first who got me to release music with them so i'm i'm really humbled and honored to be releasing music with them again this like a tune which is coming out on 7th april on full fat o2 all the people and of course parents from both ends my end as well as vimanthis cuz vimanthis mom has been like really supportive for us almost for like ever since we started playing in down south to going to uk she's been like ever so supportive and, and yeah she takes care of us get us food <laughs> and gets us, gets us to eat cuz we've been on the road like for almost half and e- half a year we've been constantly on the road playing music going down south uh, spending time in down south and in the uk and hopefully in, in like in the festival like which is like a one month period so she's been constantly supportive if not it would have been really difficult for us as well so, so i just need to make it a point that i that i give her like a massive shout out so yeah and my parents of course like they have been really supportive and my brother so yeah plenty of people to thank to be thankful of and and, and yeah Thanks. Thank you so much for having me. Shout out to our awesome venue sponsor, Techroot, the home for this limited edition mouse. Made of magnesium, this one comes in only weighing at 42 grams, and the world only has 40,000 units of them. Techroot is the only place where you can get them. So now that you know, make that smart purchase.